What's up, Raiders? Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve, and today we're putting a model kit together. So, what I got here, I might have to zoom out a little bit, is the 1 108th scale US Kitty Hawk CV63. Now, what I plan on doing is we're going to convert this into a SH Monstarts diorama, uh, specifically Godzilla vs. Kong, where they're battling on top of the aircraft carrier. Let's think about getting the Matchbox set, but we went to Hobby Lobby because I had to pick up some more accelerant because I ran out. And seeing that they were doing a sale on the model kits, so this guy was 40% off, 30 bucks, which made it cheaper than ordering the, air the other aircraft gear. Uh, that, and I think, don't quote me on this, but I think this is actually longer. Um, scale is slightly off. This would be a little bit too big for in comparison. So I'm curious how the jets are going to scale. But I guess there's 58 of them, so we'll find out. But anyways, I'm just going to let the camera run, we'll put it together, and then once we get it all set up, we'll start adjusting it to kind of match with our theme.
so as you guys can see I probably skipped over a bit of this <laughs> that could go on this but a lot of this I don't really care if it's detailed like for instance the back of here I'm just gonna have smoke coming out of it the bottom I don't need the propellers and whatnot because who cares about the bottom of the boat the monster is gonna be on the top of it <laughs> so, uh, then I might make a little resin pool for the sit in anyways so you might you probably won't even see it I'm thinking anyways I'm not 100% sold on that idea because to be honest I kind of just want to sit it there and again, the propellers don't really make or break the deal for me. Um, so I'm going to be kind of going back, checking out a couple of stills, damaging this guy up, and then we'll paint it up. But first, uh, let me go look up some photos, and then we'll figure out exactly how we're going to paint this guy up and where we're going to put all the smoke. All right, so we got the ship put together. Then I got a little ahead of myself because I kind of want to add some lights. So what I'm going to do is I popped off my bottom. <laughs> Uh, these are the same red lights we used for that Shin Godzilla diorama a while back that uh, uh, I've been kind of repurposing some parts from here and there. And I'm just going to glue these to the bottom here, stick the wirings in, and make a hole in the back. So first and foremost, let's uh, take my hole, which I think I'm just going to put it right here in the back of the ship. I think. It's so between that or hiding it on the side. You won't see, but I still want to be able to kind of get access to it so I think back here is probably gonna be my best bet so I'm just gonna make my hole now I'm going to probably have to touch and go until I can get this to fit through. Right now, as you can see, it doesn't fit, so I just turn it back on, make my hole bigger. Also, when doing this, make sure to wear safety glasses, uh, just so you don't get any flying pieces in your eye. There we go. Oh, so close. So close, and yet so far away. All right, so that's in. A uh, nice thing, what this was, was a, um, it was LEDs for a car. And you could test, like, if you, say you buy it at Walmart or someplace, usually they have, like, a little button you could test it out. And it's perfect because it means it comes with a little battery and a switch. So, uh, you can kind of repurpose these for using your dioramas and stuff. Because then you don't have to worry about wiring up a battery, because you already got one. And then it's good to go. Alright, so next, we got to glue the strips in. And then try my best not to get it on my fingers. And just lay the strip along the bottom here as I already muck it up ever so slightly do the same for the other side now what this is telling me is I'm not going to be able to probably do my um, yeah. still got some cotton on here from the smoke effects which we're going to repurpose those too it's glue my fingers but it tends to be the case whenever I work on something Cellar on. Ooh, we got some lights. So hopefully that'll look kind of cool with the smoke effects. And then the rest of this, we just kind of. Ooh, that might be a problem. I'll be honest, I probably don't need this much wires, but we're just gonna roll with it. So it should still show up pretty well. Kind of wish. I maybe would have did this backwards now that I'm looking at it. Or at least some way to... Because I want to be able to get to the battery pack if I need to. So this little hole here is going to be kind of my way to get it out. My concern is I don't know if the spokes going to show that well through the back, but we'll find out, I guess. Again, I'm not trying... Like, you could do these model kits way prettier. I'm just trying to do this as fast as humanly possible. Because again, it's kind of going to look like it's destroyed anyway, so it doesn't really need to be pretty. Pretty much just needs to hold together is really all I care. And then we're just going to kind of start adding our smoke effects. And then paint it up and call it a day. Actually, I think we'll paint it up first. <laughs> so I got some metallic here. I'm just going to go outside, spray paint the crap out of this, and then we'll detail it after. Alright, so I got outside. Do a little spray painting. 
the camera's looking upside down at me from this angle. Alright, there we go. Uh, I just did a quick silver, a little bit of black over top of it. I'm not looking for anything super exciting for the coloring. Um, I'm not even going to clear coat it because I'm not really that worried about it because it's just going to be kind of like a background prop for picture purposes, if you will. Um, so, I also took some vehicles, although I painted them a little bit darker. They're just quick spray paints. Um, like this one side of the helicopter isn't even painted that well, and I didn't even bother doing the bottoms because uh, for the most part you won't see it. Because, for instance, this guy. Uh, again, I got these uh, some parts I'm reusing from another diorama, uh, which this is the smoke that I made from it, which all this was was cotton that I spray painted. Uh, easiest way is you just stick it inside of a bag, you spray paint inside of the bag and just let it dry. And then you pull it out and you get this little smoke effect. Anyways, so I'm going to take a little bit, wrap it up in my hand, and then this little bit here I'm actually probably going to cut off. Maybe. If I knew where my scissors went. Take this, snip off part of it, and then I'm going to glue this to the one side of the helicopter. Spread out the base a bit. Now this is the fun part because this is probably where my cans are going to get all sticky with glue. But I'm just going to kind of lightly ladle the side here. And then stick this in between the propellers. Going to lightly just kind of touch. And then apply some more glue to the bottom here. One thing I completely forgot to do is drill a hole. So, because <laughs> my hope is that the light's going to kind of come through the bottom here a little bit and then light up the smoke. I'm going to kind of do this to a couple of spots just going off of some Google images. So we're going to get some smoke in here. So again, I'm going to take my Dremel, drill a decent sized hole here. Take my little smoke bloom, stick it right there. So we'll add some glue to the outside. Then just squish it on. And once it cures, we'll uh, add a little more effect. Um, make it look a little nicer. Same thing here. Doesn't need to be the prettiest holes. I say too about this, this kind of makes a little bit of rubble for the deck too. Eh, I guess we'll just get a little creative with some of the stuff now. Because uh I kind of want something back here just to even it out a little bit for the deck. And there we go. Got some damage. It's not taken away from the monsters too much, hopefully with the photos. I also got some other jets and stuff we'll add to this. A couple of vehicles. Certain spots probably add a little bit of smoke bloomage to these guys as well. So just gonna take some glue. I'm just kind of randomly put them in some spots. And here we have the completed battleship aircraft carrier, if you will. And overall, I think it looks really good, especially with the kaijus on top of it getting ready to rubble. I did knock off one of the vehicles, but the 
blew that <laughs> because the place that I put it probably wasn't the best. But definitely going to be my preferred way of displaying these guys. But real quick, we'll just show you guys kind of what I did. But what's nice too is because there's all these breakable bits, uh, if something happens, uh, it's battle damage. So you're good to go. Uh, but just so you guys can see the detailing on the ship real quick. And then the lights do come through. At least on my end. I don't know if you guys are going to see it very well. I could turn off probably one of the lights. You guys can see it there. If I turn off both lights, that's definitely way more noticeable <laughs> on the ship. Uh, granted, it's leaking through in a couple of spots, but still gives it a really cool little effect. So overall, let me know what you guys think of the aircraft carrier diorama. Would you guys be willing to put one yourselves together? This thing was a pain in the butt, I will say that. <laughs> um, I recommend doing a snap one, and then because this one literally is all glued together, so it's a little more time consuming. So there is stuff I definitely skipped because like I said, mentioned before, I don't need the propellers and crap on the bottom here because who cares? But anyways, help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, become a ranger today. Oh, also I got beams, making beams. Um, we'll have an official video, but Mr. 2021 <laughs> is gonna have something to be able to shoot out of his mouth. And anyways, uh, make sure to check out our Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. Guys, like to keep up the date with channel, donate. We greatly appreciate it. Also, gonna eventually do a beam for Patreon too. That'll be exclusive. So keep an eye out for that. And see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.